a situation happens in the church where it is difficult if you're not walking a godly life if you have cooled down as a Christian you're going to add fuel to the fire of disunity within the church because you are not going to be able to handle it in a spiritual manner Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 and 13 work out your salvation with fear and trembling for it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good pleasure work out work out work out your salvation keep going forward in your Christian life if we don't live the Christian life and, and continue to go forward we're going to be unloving we're not going to be full of the spirit and we're not going to be discerning and when problems happen in a church we'll be making it more of a problem because we're actually a problem because our attitude isn't right because we're not walking with God so it's important that if unity is maintained in the church that you walk as a Christian Bishop Fenelon one of the great bishops of all time said there is nothing that is more dangerous to your salvation more unworthy of God and more harmful to your happiness than that you should be content to remain as you are isn't that an amazing quote I'll read it again there is nothing that is more dangerous to your salvation more unworthy of God and more harmful to your own happiness than you should be content to remain as you are Bishop F. Fenua I find that truly amazing Philippians 3.12 not that I have already been made perfect but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me Philippians 3.12 press on press on never settle in the Christian life you've never ever arrived in the Christian life there's always more to learn in the Christian life the person who said well I know Greek and I know this and I know that and I know theology my friend you don't know diddly squat whatever you know at this present time so what you, you can learn more and more and more you know the person who knows the most is the person who's often the one who says they don't know anything did you know that the great learned people of our age will tell you that they don't know much because the more you learn the more you realize you don't know much but apart from that aside about the Christian life it's important that we move forward if we're not moving forward then we are moving backward so let us move forward I'm going to finish now uh, in the next part okay okay we've come to the end of our study on how to be a strong church and we're just going to wrap it up uh, with some final conclusions unity is the spice of life in a local church as a pastor and as church leaders and as members of the church we all have to focus on protecting and maintaining unity we have to be vigilant it's one of the areas which the devil will try to bring in John Elliot a missionary to Indians said he heard many complaints of churches and he said there are three words that a church needs to remember three words forbear bear and forgive and forgiveness and, and being patient with people and being understanding and compassionate we have to have these kind of attitudes in our local church think before you speak think before you act John Newton side said thus we may abide in union with each other and the Lord 
and princess in sweet communion joys which earth cannot afford when we're having holy communion and we're breaking the bread and there we are remembering our Christ death his body broken for each one of us we didn't deserve that yet he allowed himself to be broken for you and for me and for the church and just before we break that bread and just before we drink that wine we need to look around the congregation and if there is any resentment to anybody in the church you need to put it right you need to say to God Lord I am sorry that I am in disunity with my fellow brethren that my heart is hard and unkind and unloving to that brother over there and I am sorry I am sorry and if there is disunity we have to confess it before the Lord and say Lord I am about to break bread with my brothers and sisters and I, I am not united with them and this is not right Lord forgive me and if you can and if it's possible to go to them and put it right with them and say you know brother we had a, an argument last week and I was quite strong with you and I'm sorry and apologize and then when you break bread thus we may abide in union with each other and the Lord and possess in sweet communion joys which earth cannot afford and the Lord loves his people to be united he loves it when he sees his people together he loves it when he sees his brothers and, and sisters his brethren come together and they love each other it it is a joy to God to see his children working in unity and love and it brings great joy to God it is a great blessing to God to see his people united and it grieves God to see his people hard-hearted and unloving and unkind it grieves him because he gave all for you and me he gave his body to be broken for you so why will you or I why will we not treat others in the fellowship with the same kind of love that he showed you and me for he came broken in body broken in spirit broken for you and me when we did not deserve it he gave up all his rights for you and me and we didn't deserve it and if he showed us such love and tenderness then cannot we show the love and tenderness to a fellow brother or sister who maybe we do not like or maybe we do not like their theolo theological bent or maybe we don't like some of their quirky habits that they have that they bring to the church business meeting or maybe that group or that new person or whoever it is or the pastor or the elder or the elders can we not share the love of Christ and compassion to them as Christ showed it to you and me I wonder if I have it I wonder if I have it I hope I do uh, when you want things you can't find them but let's see if we can find uh -huh. here we have pain in my stomach there sorry yeah let's read this John Black Backwell hail thou once despised Jesus hail thou Galilean King Thou didst suffer to release us, thou didst free salvation bring. 
Hail thou agonizing Saviour, bearer of our sin and shame. By thy merits we find favour, life is given through thy name. Pascal Lamb, by God appointed, all our sins to thee were laid. By almighty love anointed, thou hast full atonement made. All thy people are forgiven through the virtue of thy blood. Opened in the gate of heaven, peace is made twixt man and God. Jesus, hail, enthroned in glory, ever for ever to abide. All the heavenly hosts adore thee, seated at thy Father's side. Thee for sinners thou art pleading, there thou dost our place prepare, ever for us interceding, till in glory we appear. Worship, honour, power, and blessing thou art worthy to receive. Loudest praises without ceasing, meet it to us, meet it for us to give. Help you bright angelic spirits, bring your sweetest, noblest lays. Help to sing our Saviour's merits, help to chant. Emmanuel's praise. Pascal Lamb, by God appointed, all our sins on thee were laid. By almighty love anointed, thou hast full atonement made. All thy people are forgiven through the virtue of thy blood. Open in the gate of heaven, peace is made twixt man and God. Let us work towards unity today. Let us maintain unity in the body of Christ. Let us be vigilant that the body of Christ be not split and made disunited. And let us guard that unity with our lives. For in the unity of the body of Christ, the blessings of the Holy Spirit will flow. Souls will be saved. Christians will grow. And the kingdom will be blessed in your area people will be blessed as the kingdom flows through you and the people of God into the community may God bless you and I hope this has been a blessing and I'm going to close in prayer Father we are staggered at the majestic love that you have shown us at the cross we cannot even begin to understand what you did at Calvary we know that you love us we know that you care and so father we praise you and give you the glory today father we pray help us to maintain unity amongst brothers and sisters in Christ and I pray for every person here today who has heard these words father may they take this message and may it be a, a great blessing to churches that these folk who listen to this message would go on to build strong churches that bring glory to your name. We ask this, Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and for your glory. Amen. Amen. You may use these videos uh, if you want to use them. Make copies of them. Distribute them in your church, uh, in your ministry. You feel free to do so. God bless you.